Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl Sakura One here, and I just did Ench Glam Magic Enchantix Bloom today, and I figured I would go ahead and continue and review Harmonix Bloom individually for you guys, because I did show her like the other ones in my collection videos. But again, I wanted to do just separate videos for them so you could watch separate ones instead of having to watch the entire collection videos that I did. So this is Harmonix Bloom. And she is gorgeous, as you can see right here. I absolutely love her. She does have one flaw, and I will get to that later. But before we get to this gorgeous bloom, I have to go over her box. Let me flip it around. And as you can see, it's really pretty. It's got a lovely picture of bloom in her harmonics, just like the Sirenix had a picture of bloom in her Sirenix. And it says Bloom Harmonics, nine pieces, ages four and up, standard choking hazard, um, Jack Pacific and Nickelodeon, run under Bloom, Bloom's name, the Wingscum logo covered right there, it's just covered in tape because I taped this box shut. And here is the back where you can see the entire collection that was available. In this collection there is Bloom, Stella, Flora, and Aisha. They are missing two of the winks, and that is, of course, Musa and Tecna. Now, from what I understand, what happened was um, they were going to come out with Musa and Tecna, but they made so many of the harmonic stalls, and they didn't sell all that well, that by the time they wanted to go ahead and put Musa and Tecna out, it was already time for harmonic, for them, not harmonic, Sirenix. Um, the Sirenix line to come out, so they ended up canceling them, from what I understand. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, because I may be wrong, I don't know, but that's what I believe is the case, but anyway. Right there it says be a part of the Winx Club, and here a special message, which yes you can, well actually it does work, but I'll show you what it's talking about. And here's a brief description of harmonics. The power of harmonics. The power of harmonics allows the Winx Club to battle the evil Trix and Tritanus underwater. That's right. And continue the magic with Winx books. There's a picture of the Bloom doll, but her hair is not like that, and it's very deceiving. Move Bloom to see her wings flutter. The magic is in you. And a lovely picture of Harmonix Bloom, with, of course, her name and a heart, just like the Sirenix one had. And it says what the box contains, just like the Sirenix one. One doll with fashion, wings, sea star brush, shoes, tiara belt, membership card. And of course it has all the legal stuff on the bottom. Rainbow, Nickelodeon, Jack's Pacific, www.winxtoys.jacks.com, and nick.com slash winks. So that is the box. And it is pretty. And on the inside it's basically the same background as the harmonics transformation in the show, I believe. So that's nice. But now we get to what you're here to see, and that is this gorgeous Bloom doll. She is truly gorgeous. I love her. She has the same face as the Believix Bloom, and the same makeup, just sparkly, glittery eyeshadow. Although you can't see it all that well in my camera. And she has her blue lovely beautiful blue eyes and her beautiful pink lips and these pretty curls and tiara in her hair it's so pretty seashell tiara I might add because harmonics is based on the ocean and here is her dress which is so pretty she has this um, sweetheart neckline kind of dress with pink going on one side it doesn't go all the way around on the side, but it's not supposed to. And fishnet on the right side here. And then the rest of it's light blue with sparkles all over it, which is so pretty. And I do love it. It's so gorgeous. It really is. And down here, you have her belt, which has some beautiful um, star heart and bubble kind of detailing on it and it obviously clips in the back and then you have this wonderful skirt which is three layers of fishnet with sparkles and it has this 
plain blue squirt under it, of course, for modesty's sake, because fishnet is see-through, of course. And she has this lovely train, which is made of gauze. I know because I had a shirt with this material once, so I know what it is. And here are her beautiful shoes. And I love them. They're so stylish. I really like them. But as you can see, the Harmonix shoes are supposed to be um, every other color. Pink, blue, pink, blue, as you can see here. But that would be very hard to do, and I know that. And completely understand. So I understand the design of the shoes, and I still think they are totally beautiful. I love them. And they are, of course, kicking high heels, and they're so nice. And they have a bunch of stars on them. Or are they flowers? No, they're flowers. They're so pretty. I love them. Now, remember what I just said about this picture? Well, they make it look like her hair is nice. And from the front, you might think that. But I'm going to tell you guys right now, it's bad. Let me turn her around here. I mean, as you can see, it's really bad. So that picture is a kind of flat out lie, but it is a promotional picture, so they do always change. But they make that look like the hair is this pretty, it's not. I mean, I was able to make it look good, and I'll tell you how. You wrap this, you wrap, you take mousse actually, step one. You take hair mousse that you would use for your own hair, wrap it around like that, all the way up though. Take needle and thread, take your finger out of the loop of hair, tie it, and leave it for one night, and it should come out like this. So it can be fixed to at least look decent, but it's this could have been so beautiful if they'd used the same hair as the Sirenix line. But alas, what can you do? They wanted to be cheap about it, but they've fixed the issue since, so I'm grateful. And I was able to get her to look good, so. But that is the way you can do it and make it at least look nice, but you can never brush it again. Or it might be a giant bush again. Um when I took this Bloom doll out, when I got her, I'd actually, because of what had happened with Believix Bloom's hair, I knew it was bad. And I had planned on not brushing her hair at all, period. Because I knew it, could do, it would do the same thing. It could and probably would do the same thing. But when I had her out for just a little bit, it got completely a disaster. I, it was horrible. And I just tried to comb it just a little, and it just made it worse and I ended up having to do what I described to you to make her hair at least look decent and here are her beautiful wings which are shades of pink blue and yellow and I think some purple and they have glitter on the outer edges here and they are thin plastic and they do flap when you do move her I can't do it very well at this particular second but yeah so beautiful and finally this is what Blooms comes with. She comes with this transforming sea star brush. But if you're smart, you won't be using this. But it is a cool accessory because it is the Sirenix box that the girls get in season 5. And what you do is you open it. And there is her guardian of Sirenix. And then you completely fold it out and it makes the brush. But, like I just said, don't use it. It will turn into a bush. Don't. I'm telling you now. And the last thing she comes with is this membership card, which I tried and it doesn't actually work, but it's got a pretty picture of Bloom on it. And it says Magical Membership. And then it says, um, scan this QR code and you can go to nick.com slash wings and I guess see a video about Bloom, but it didn't work for me. So, but... It's, this is just a beautiful doll, and I do highly recommend her, despite her bad hair, because you can fix it to at least look decent. So, get her if you can on eBay. I don't think she's in the store anymore, so um, good luck finding her. She shouldn't be that hard, 
And she shouldn't be too expensive being she's not that old, so. But she's beautiful. I love her. And like I said, highly recommend her despite the hair issue. And until my next video, thank you everyone for watching.